Hello once again, my crystal ears to some more uh Firewatch, yeah that's what it's called. Um so in the last episode some things happened and uh since I quit since I had to quit kind of in between stuff, um it kind of pushed me back here. But it's good because it's it'll be a nice little refresher for me because I haven't played for like a while. Get out of here. Oops. I probably shouldn't have done that actually. But anyways, uh, someone broke into my place last episode. So let's see what's going on now. Report vandalism. Okay. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. And then I threw it again oh, off the top Holy floor. Shit. Um, <laughs> I'll let the forest service know what happened. A gun book, right? Sucks, dude. The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. I don't know what I said last time, but... Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. What did I say? Oh yeah, I said this last time. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own yeah. and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's <clears> about <throat> it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. <sighs> okay, uh, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty and the dust down in Cody. Wait. They keep a list of everyone who's it does say been in and out of the trailhead since... Percolator. <laughs> I don't know what a percolator is, so I just laughed at it. Much, but at I don't least know what if this is. Happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Right. So yeah. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, yeah, I'm supposed to be like the guard or something. Just tell me where to find a gun. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun. Was kind of a bad idea. Oh, that was a perfect shot. Grenades? Grenades. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, can I get a supply drop? Give me some grenades. Okay, so the rest of this is actually going to be new stuff for the rest of the episode. Um, like I said, when I quit last time, um, I wasn't able to save, so I had to. It kind of kicked me back a little bit before that, right there. So yeah, um, let's see what goes on. Day two. Wow, that was just the first day. Dang. Wake up. I got it. Okay. Hey, wake up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Good first day. Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. Oh, I geez. tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Really? There's no backup? Can I go fix it? I don't really it? know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. Two-day hike? So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. Uh, if you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Glory. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so I have to course. go through the cave? So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. I thought my sheets Thanks, were Hank. stolen. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? <laughs> Yeah, I don't like Hank. But, the... but thanks rhymes with Hank. No, not doesn't. really. Okay, all right. What? Why would I just like my not name? <laughs> all right, whatever. Um, right. Did I just kick up some dirt? I thought my sheets were stolen. Why are they back? Okay, so I guess we're gonna do that. Uh, let's open the door. Here's my cool backpack. Um, I woke up at. Is this sunrise or sunset? I feel like it's... I guess it's probably sunrise. Okay. Um, how do I run? Alright. I think I press R to run. Like I said, I haven't played in a while, so... Whoa. Yep. Do a little run. Okay. Right, right. <clears throat> Just trying to 
reacquaint myself. So C doesn't do anything. M, okay, and then N is okay. N is compass. This is the N. This is that. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. Uh, right. So that's that's the canyon. Um. What are the red lines? Are the red lines places I've been or what? Medicine wheel? I don't remember a medicine wheel. Okay. But I do remember that cave, which is that, right? So I should probably go this way. Hmm. Well, that's north. So I should go that way I think right we we'll just take the little jogger little jogger frogger what happened here Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower I know right Ugh, it's out of this world now imagine we had a big fire burning yeah Jesus it's something else I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time Dang. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. So this generator is all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just oh, have hey, to buddy. with frizzy locks. Just, I could uh... never. Okay, well, you just stay there, Mr. Fire. Forest burns. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? <laughs> hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. <laughs> well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Okay. Let's see. Am I going the right way? It looks like I am. I think K452. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Is where I'm supposed to go. And I'm pretty sure this direction is the direction of the cave. I don't think I can repel down here, can I? Or I can. Oh, it's a climbable. I can climb down it. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, is that her? Probably her. Uh, hey, I can see your tower. Suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. You're at the canyon wearing the orange backpack, I presume. Yep, that's me. Also, you need a new barber. <laughs> Jeez, do you have the Hubble telescope over there? <laughs> just kidding. You're just a little blob to me. I'm a little blob. Okay. Right. Um. So there are winds strong enough to destroy that tree? I'm in a giant tower that seems l like less secure than a, a tree's roots. So I feel like unsafe. It could have blown down the tower. I mean, there's gotta be... You know, it must have been taking that into account, because, you know, that seems like a pretty big deal, and she talks about it like it happens all the time, so it's probably not something I, I should worry about. I think I'm alright when it comes to that kind of thing. Well, there's Delilah. We need Delilah. What's it like in the park? Just cut that short, because I don't want to see that anymore. <laughs> uh, oof, man. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Yeah, looks like I'm close. There's a lot of climbing down stuff. Oh, is that not a path I can climb down? Is that not... Okay, do I have to go up here? Is that my wedding ring? Pretty sure. I think that's my wedding ring. Oh, that's a little birdie, I think. Or is it a butterfly? It's a pretty weird creature, nonetheless. Okay. Got mad ups. Ugh, okay. So let's see what mysteries await us today. So someone vandalized my place. Um, the girls from the lake is a pretty logical thing to think. Um, the reason I, I personally just thought it was the guy that I randomly saw in the canyon. I'm pretty sure it's not this one. Uh, it's because he was just some weird freaking guy. And he just had a flashlight. He didn't say anything to me. He just saw me run away. <sighs> It's actually really damn <coughs> cold out here. <coughs> Excuse me. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Oh, Talk about bucket, Julia. Yeah. <coughs> uh, you know, uh, I don't. Know. I 
Used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. It looks lost. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Who's that about? Okay, good. Is she talking to someone else? No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. What is Mr. talking about me? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about I'm just that. Sitting here. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You um, you owned him with someone? The heck was that? Who was that? Who was who? I I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. I was just really... Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Ooh, that's like a tail, telltale thing. Well, this this is locked, and I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go, right? By the way, okay, so... <clears throat> I made the decision to not make this a streaming thing. Because, um... Uh... I just didn't want, because when, when I'm streaming, there's a lot of noise from my fans, um, because what I do when I record is I get rid of that uh, in post, um, so I decided to that that would like kind of hinder the experience a little bit for you guys, because I can't hear the fans myself, because um, I'm just wearing headphones and I have the audio turned up, so it's not really a big deal for me, but when I'm streaming, you hear the fans a lot because I can't... Uh, take out the fans live, you know? This is weird, man. Is this... I mean, what I do here? Is this not where I'm supposed to go? Survey communications? Blah, blah, blah. I thought she said to go to the cave. Maybe I should keep going? North? Okay, so it's... Maybe it's just north of the cave? So... Maybe I don't actually go to the cave yet. I keep pressing shift to run. But I'll continue forward like so. And uh Yeah, this should be good. Uh north. Okay, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. <clears throat> so I'm kinda sad that um I kinda pissed her off a little bit. But I'm also alright with not talking about Julia in general. I don't know. I feel like his character. Um, I I guess you could say I'm trying to play him as who I think he is. And I'm trying to play it as the character. You know, what is that stuff up there? What was that? Uh, I guess it's just a broken tree. So yeah. Um, I feel like that's maybe how he would have reacted. Um, I don't know. Maybe he feels weird or insecure generally. Because of the whole Julia situation and how he goes to the bar a lot and blah blah, and he took this job to just get away basically. This looks really nice. I love the fog. I hope I'm going the right way. Um, that looks like wires, so I think those are the communication wires I'm supposed to be worrying about. Okay, sorry, Delala. Hope she's not too mad at me. Also, I hope that she isn't. You know, plotting against me in some weird way. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Sure. Follow it back. So I'm, I'm assuming not that way. Um, I can talk about the utility pole. Oh. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just... Seems dangerous. Seems well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Okay. Communication lines. Is it for phones? Do we have phones out here? I don't have a phone. Not that I've seen. I just have this walkie-talkie to talk to her. I guess maybe because she's the boss. Um. Right, we're going this way. She'll have that to worry about, or I have to make calls or whatever. 
I can jump over here. I can probably maybe cut through here. Maybe. No secrets. No secrets. No achievement unlock. Okay, let's go over here. I heard some rustling. Probably wildlife. Is my first bet. Someone's got that twig shoved in my eyeball. Um, where's the thing going? Whoa! Am I going up there to Pride Rock? Okay, I guess I'm gonna go carry Simba over a crowd of animals. Uh, okay. I don't know why. I'm I'm like weirdly I weirdly feel like unsafe or something, like I'm being watched or something. <laughs> And mostly in the sense of like a wild animal might be around and might want to attack. Might want to attack me. I see a box and I'm gonna try to get it. Or should I just go for straight for the thing? I'll go straight for the thing, because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'ma run over here. I'm a jogger. Run around with my legs. Okay. So I got some red flowers and some beers. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Oh, yep. These fucking kids. Uh well how do you think they're up here? Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Ooh, long drop. Here you go. Brace yourself. Okay. Okay. I didn't press the shift button, I don't know why I brought it up like that, but okay. Uh utility pole. I just got an auto save on the top right there. Um Okay. So there might be someone here. I thought I heard someone for a second. But, okay, as far as I can tell, there was someone here. Because of all the beer cans, because they're idiots. Um, but also, who knows, maybe there's still someone nearby. Okay. Just being cautious. Oh, man. What? Are you kidding me? Is that... What is that? A giant pair of underwear? How do I... I can't... How do I get up there? Oh. <sighs> Great. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That is so not cool. That's actually good to hear. What? I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Oh, okay. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. Nope. It looks like it was cut deliberately. Yep. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Find the teens? And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is <laughs> illegal. Mm. Let's, Let's hear it. it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? <laughs> I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Uh... Mm, I don't know. Um... <sighs> Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> <sighs> Don't hold your breath. Oh, come on. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. I kind of am. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Man, are you kidding me? Ah, dude. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop right here, uh, before I get into, I don't know, beating up teenagers <laughs> territory. Um, man, this is crazy. Are you kidding me? I, I, you know, I mean, I guess, who else would it be? Like, like, those girls were like super angry at me for doing my job but they're idiots and fireworks and now they're cutting the wires and there's like a big sign with my technically my face on it because uh, it looks like a ranger it says go to hell on it is that my underwear i think is that what it, that is I, i'm surprised i didn't say anything about it 
but yeah, okay, so, this has been, uh, Crystal Face, thank you so much, everyone, for watching, I hope you're enjoying the Firewatch, um, series, I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this, um, I, every day I can't wait to record some more episodes for you guys, because this game is extremely fun, but anyways, um, I'll see you in the next episode, bye-bye.